Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a viewer suggested topic from my Patreon, link in the description. And I gotta say, what a delightful topic this is. Something I knew nothing about, very pleasantly surprised, because in case you guys didn't know, there is a new sheriff in town. And by sheriff, I mean spaceport, and by town, I mean Europe because this spaceport is going to be in Scotland and not like regular Scotland, like super, super Northern Scottish Isles, Scotland. It's windy, it's rocky, and it might be the next Cape Canaveral. So for today's video, let's take a look at the UK's newest spaceport and how we may see rockets launching from it sooner than we think. So this spaceport is located in the small island of Unst in Shetland, a group of islands in northern Scotland. Shetland is so far north, it's less than 150 miles from Norway. It's called the Saxaford Spaceport and was formerly known as the Shetland Space Center. This area was formerly used as an RAF base and Unst has a pretty small population. There's only about 600 people that live on that island. But it is stunning with castles and history and the cutest bus stop that I have ever seen. It has a sofa and a TV and a computer and the locals maintain it. There's a whole Wikipedia page dedicated to this bus stop. It's adorable. <laughs> it took my breath away. It's so cute. It's super cute. It's a whole separate story, but I will put that link also in the description. My brain just froze thinking about how cute it was. <laughs> but back to the spaceport. So Unst was determined to be an ideal launch site by the UK Space Agency. They initially identified the site as offering clear northbound trajectories for polar and sun synchronous orbits with the highest potential payload of any location in the UK. And there was some pushback initially from some organizations about building a spaceport in Unst, but they eventually agreed. They said, we recognize the benefits that this development will bring to the community in Unst, which if you're aiming to be the next Cape Canaveral, makes a lot of sense. Cape Canaveral in Florida is the main launch center for NASA with hundreds of other businesses around it. And its visitor center is a tourist attraction. So I think they began to kind of see the full picture picture of what could be on offer here. In 2023, Rocket Factory Augsburg, or RFA, from Germany signed a multi-year launch agreement that would give exclusive access to the northernmost launch pad of the spaceport. They were officially licensed for spaceflight by the regulator last month. And another company, Orbex, based in Northeast Scotland, recently announced it will switch its first launch from another spaceport to Saxaford, and it hopes to blast off its prime rocket for the first time towards the end of this year. Officials at Saxaford say they will be ready for satellite launches in July 2025, with the aim to be an eventual launch site for commercial rockets. Scott Hammond, Deputy Chief Executive at Saxaford, said work is ongoing on the integration hangar, where rocket stages will be joined together and satellites paired with launch vehicles. He said that the company was absolutely planning a launch this year and said that the staff is currently going through a detailed training process. Hammond also noted that Saxaford does have competition from Norway's Andoya spaceport. When asked whether or not the spaceport needs more government financial assistance, Hammond said yes and no. We would very happily take it, but if we don't get it, we will have to go out and get extra money and work very hard. Hammond urged the Ministry of Defense not to rely on SpaceX for launch and said the U.S. Armed Forces Space Division had effectively booked up all of the launches from the states until 2030. So if we want to get U.K. satellites up there, we're going to have to find another way of doing it. Phil Chambers, chief executive at Orbex, said that their company's plan was to do their first 10 launches a year at Saxaford. When asked by members of parliament on the Scottish Affairs Committee if there would be rocket launches from Shetland this year, Scott Hammond said, absolutely. Equipment commissioning, staff training, and building work is scheduled to be completed this summer. Hammond said that our goal is to have all of that done by July 1st. So then in the second half of the year, we are ready for launch. Hammond did say though that the exact timing of the launches would be dependent on the partners who are developing the rockets. And it hasn't all gone 
super smoothly. During an RFA launch test, a rocket engine exploded in the spaceport in August of 2024. The company said that no one was injured and that the launch pad had been saved and is secured. Jorn Sperman, chief commercial officer at RFA, described it as a big and wonderful image, which resulted in a lot of learning. Which reminds me a lot of like how another company describes their explosions. But Saxaford is not messing around. They were given approval by the Civil Aviation Authority to begin orbital launches this year. And if all this goes to plan, it will be the first fully licensed spaceport in Western Europe able to launch vertically into orbit. And I read an article last year that said that Lockheed Martin and ABL Space Systems might also use Saxaford for orbital launches as part of the official UK government Pathfinder launch. And obviously I talk about the space industry with a pretty American lens on this channel. I think that's fair to say, but space is big business in the UK as well. According to the BBC, space industry in the UK is estimated to be worth 17 and a half billion pounds, and it supports nearly 50,000 jobs across 2,200 firms. And Hammond is aiming big. He said, we see ourselves as the Cape Canaveral of Scotland, the UK, and Europe. We have a license for up to 30 launches a year. Now we are not gonna get to that straight away. We need to build to that and learn how to do everything efficiently and safely, we would hopefully see two to three launch attempts this year. We like to use the term test flight at this stage as we are still in the early days and then building up to eight to 12 onward. Which is wild to think about. I mean, can you imagine the launches of rockets and satellites at a near monthly cadence? from Scotland. I gotta admit, Scotland is not the go-to country that I think of when I think of space launches, but why not? I mean, the Shetland Islands are clearly surrounded by a lot of water, much like Florida. They clearly have the land for it. I think I read somewhere that one of the biggest struggles for them so far has really just been getting supplies up there, like physically getting them up there because they're so isolated. I don't know if they're getting their two-day Amazon Prime deliveries in Unst, never mind spaceport supplies. But once they work out like the infrastructure of that, it seems like they could have a real shot at it. And obviously there's some competition there, but Hammond seems to know his market and sees a real opportunity there. And he may well be right. Orbex, one of the companies committed to using Saxaford for its first flight, recently received a 20 million pound investment from the UK government. They mean to have a lot of launches in the next five to seven years. And if they're committed to Saxaford and it works, then maybe this tiny island in Northern Scotland will become the new Cape Canaveral after all. Or at least a Cape Canaveral. UK's Cape Canaveral. I'll put a link to Saxford's website in the description if you guys want to check them out. They've got a trailer. Well, no, that's not true. It's not a trailer. It's more like a cute behind the scenes making of time lapse about how they constructed this whole thing, possibly set to the Chariots of Fire theme. <laughs> it's, it's so cute. I'm barely holding it together. I will post the full thing over on my Patreon. It's like four minutes. Definitely go check it out. I think it's the cutest space video that I've seen so far. Like the cutest one of all these sort of trailers and selling their company or whatever. This is definitely the most adorable in my opinion. So what do you guys think? Had you heard of Saxaford? Rocket launches from Scotland? Are we, are we ready for this? Are our minds collectively blown? Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to the Patreon member, I don't know if you want me to say your name or not, for suggesting this topic. I really enjoyed looking into it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, I will see you in the next video.